Gonna go ahead and warn you guys now, this one probably will get a little bit lengthy. Gonna do my best to cover each topic in a timely fashion. Wanted to talk about a couple of problems that are brewing in the uh, music industry. Well, not necessarily brewing. These problems have been long apparent. Let's start with nepotism. I don't think it's fair, which life isn't fair. So starting that statement with anything is kind of dumb. But it's fucked up that Wolfgang Van Halen probably made more money than Michael Anthony ever did. Which a lot of people will say, you know, well, Michael Anthony should have politicked better for himself. And maybe he should have, but at the same time, though, like, come on. I'd rather hang out with him than fucking Wolf. I'm sure Wolf has cool stories about Eddie being his father, but come on, like, Michael Anthony was there when they were partying and shit. I don't know. I'd rather hear about that stuff. Sorry if you wouldn't. Or prefer fucking Wolfgang. Um, fucking Beach Boys. I, lo I love Beach Boys to death. But uh, they're not really a guitar-heavy band. And Mike Love took his son on the Beach Boys tour to join as a second rhythm guitarist. Like, what? You guys really need a second rhythm guitarist? I don't fucking know. I just thought that was kind of funny. Um... Let's talk about shittily designed, overpriced fucking band merch. So, back in the day, I'd pull up the statement if I had it, but I don't. But I purchased a Death Leprosy long sleeve shirt for, I don't know, between $20 and $30. That includes shipping, and I got it. And now, um, they got out these fucking pink Death shirts. They're pink, they got cats. I know Chuck was a cat guy, but, like, do we really have to have the cat death shirt? I don't know. Not a fan. I actually kind of shat on it on their Facebook page, and Nephew Schuldener got pissed. I would show those screen caps, too, but I know if the wrong person fucking sees this shit, they're going to try to shit on me. So, I'm not going to share that. You'll have to take my word for it, but I did. I made a fucked up joke. I was like, hey, with prices like these... Also, the shirts are more expensive. We're talking $30 for a damn short sleeve shirt. Not including shipping. And I get it. Everything's going up because of inflation. But still, it's stupid. I made a joke like, maybe Chuck would still be around if you guys had prices like this back in the fucking 90s. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't all too thrilled about that. And I get it. I'm a dick, but so is he for these fucking shitty shirts. They're pink and got cats and shit. Okay, Chuck was a cat guy. I'm a cat guy. I don't want a fucking death shirt with cats on it. When I listen to death, I don't think about cats. Unless my cat's in my lap while I'm listening to Symbolic. I'm going to sound a little boomer here, but you've got these fucking ridiculous email subscription things. Um... It, you know, you try to unsubscribe, and then they fucking hit you up back later. Um, I was going to get a death clock long sleeve the other day, and I ended up just not getting it. I I don't really... I don't need any more band shirts right now. I'm fucking band shirted out. And so I just didn't get it. I left the website, left it in my cart. Should have removed it. They sent me an email talking like, Hey, uh... You know, you can fucking get this shirt, come back, get the shirt, we'll give you a discount, come back, get a discount this way, why are you going that way, you need to be coming this way. So I fucking went, the shirt's out of stock. So they fucking sent me this email, and I fucking bought into it, and the shirt ain't even in stock anymore, but they sent me this shit, so that was annoying, so I unsubscribed, but it was just like, damn guys, come on, get your fucking shit together, what the fuck? I mean, really. Got Anthony Fantano mad. He fucking had to make a video response to Rick Beato's video. Where Rick's kind of just over the quantization of music and the drum sound and stuff. Like, a lot of these digital drums and these digital audio workstations, I know it's made... Like, it's, giving the pow it's given the power of music, creation, to anybody who can afford a laptop. But is that really a good thing? No, if you fucking think about it. Because a lot of people's taste in music is trash. And though taste may be subjective, we live in an objective world, people. So, 
I don't think fucking Sophie and Taylor Swift's new album and shit like that is going to be remembered in the same way that good drum sound albums had. Like fucking Led Zepp- any Led Zeppelin album. Fucking the Beatles' White Album. Fucking... I mean, fuck, guys. And he wants to get on there and act all high and mighty and bring up capitalism for some reason. Like, that has any fucking thing to do with anything. I don't know. Anthony Fantano should stick to playing the bass. But he's kind of funny sometimes for the memes, I guess. Let's say a little bit about gatekeeping while we're kind of, like, firing off at all cylinders. Gatekeeping is important. It's important in music and other industries as well. Virtually all fucking nice art of consequence has been infiltrated and invaded by undesirable types. Fill in the blank with whatever your fucking definition of that is because it's probably true. We gotta protect these things from those people. Unless you want to be sitting next to them at shows and shit, because I sure as fuck don't. A quick little shout out slash fuck you to DT Archive, aka the Ravens Kill Rebel Militia. This guy, part of me loves this guy, but he's a dick. Like, fuck. I love his videos. I really do. I think his videos are great. But I don't know. We had some beef and he fucking blocked me. If you don't know DT or Ravens Kill, whatever the fuck. He's basically the best Dream Theater channel ever, besides the official channel, if you really want to count that. They're, the band's track record has been off for some time now, so hell, I wouldn't count it. But, um, nah, like, he collects all the shows, all the random stuff, like, he'll make Dream Theater memes, all kinds of stuff. He got some heat last year, or it might have been, it was probably years ago now. This is like old fucking news. My bad, guys. This is all fucking backstory. But he got some heat a while back for kind of exposing James Labrie and John Petrucci for backing tracks. Which is, which I think is a good thing, you know? Like, we need to fucking expose these these bands that claim to be... Or not necessarily claim to be, but like Dream Theater for a while before fucking Tofu Wabasi and Manuel Gardner Fernandez and uh, and these shitty guitar players fucking took over the progressive metal scene. Dream Theater were the face of it for some time. And, well, if they're going to be the face, if they're the old face of the scene and they're doing fucking backing tracks now, like Kiss or some shit, it's just depressing. It's not cool. And they need to be called out for it. And he called him out. And I'm proud of him for that. But I pissed him off on that channel. On the Ravenskill channel, I pissed him off. He kept, I don't know, he kept egging on um, Jordan Rudess. Saying stuff like, Jordan's a weirdo, Jordan's a weirdo, boo boo boo. Like, if Jordan's a weirdo, I want to know. Okay? <laughs> I really do. And, I, and uh, he just kept on, like, he, he said he was going to make a video about it. And he never did. And I called him out on it and he got mad. Um... And he just hid me from his new channel. He, um, he had made, I'm getting out of breath, guys. I'm fucking walking on this trail and shit. I'm sorry. That's, that's me. That's me being out of shape. Don't be like me. Fucking be a physical fucking specimen. Okay. But, um, he had made a video or he had made a post that was kind of like making fun of, these weird blue-haired idiots and i i commented on it and i was like dude you were kind of a cunty on your last uh channel but if you're gonna do stuff that makes the blue-haired weirdos mad i'm all for it fucking go for it and i guess old habits die hard because he hid me from his channel it's easy to know if you're hidden from a channel when you normally get interactions on it like thumbs up or comment replies and then magically nothing for bringing up that shit just, I don't know. I fucking, I went on his Facebook and I said, Un- unhide me from your channels or you're gay. And he fucking uh, uh, blocked me. So I guess he's gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyways. Video's getting long as fuck, so I'd better call it off. It's been a hot minute since I made a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was kind of all over the place. Uh, 
<laughs> if not, I'm sorry, I guess. But yeah, if, if you did enjoy it, thanks. Love you guys. Take it easy, all right?